Practice and homework lesson 4.3. Interpret the remainder. Interpret the remainder to solve. So we can see it says interpret the remainder. We know the remainder is how many is left over. Okay, so problem one. Hakeem has 100 tomato plants. He wants to plant them in rows of eight. How many full rows will he have? So it's asking how many full rows will he have? He's not asking how many he'll have plus the remainder. So we only need the full rows. So he has 100, and you're going to divide that into eight rows. So it's 100 divided by eight. So that can be also, that is 12, 12 rows with a remainder of four. But we're not looking at the remainder of four, we're just looking at the whole 12. So we would put 12 full rows. Number two, a teacher has 27 students in her class. She asks the students to form as many groups of, groups of four as possible. How many groups, how many students will not be in a group? So there are 27 divided into four, into groups of four. So she's asking, or the question is asking, how many students will not be in a group? So that is the remainder. We're looking for the remainder here. So it's, so we're not asking to have four groups. It's each group has four. So we can do one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. Now that would mean we have 27 minus 24, which would be 3. And we can't put 3 people into a group of 4. So the remainder would be 3. So R equals three. So three students will not be in the group. Number three. A sporting goods company can ship six footballs in each carton. How many cartons are needed to ship 75 footballs? So 75 with six footballs in each group. So we can do one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one carton. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 12. So that's 2, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So since this is 30 in total, 30 times 2 is 60. So we can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5 times 2 equals to 10. So let's start off with 60. Okay. So then we have five more groups to make it 60 in total. So let's put that over here. There are 10 groups so far. 10 groups. So 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 66. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is 72. So that would be 75 minus 72. That would be a 3 remainder. So it's asking how many cartons are needed to ship footballs. 75 footballs. So we have a remainder of 3. So we could say that it's 10 plus 2. That would be 12 groups, so 12 cartons with the remainder of three. So then we can't just add these three into the carton, into one of these other cartons, and we can't just leave them because they need the 75 football. So we would put that into its own group of just three. So it'd be 13 cartons. Problem solving. Number four. Joanna has 70 beads. She makes eight beads for each. She uses eight beads for each bracelet. She makes as many bracelets as possible. How many beads will Joanna have left over? So the problem is asking how many beads will Joanna have left over? So we need to look for the remainder. 
So she uses eight beads for one bracelet. And she has seven beads. So we can say it's not asking us to divide it to 70 by eight. So we do one group of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. So we can see that we've made it all the way to 70 total, 70 beads. Now there, are how many complete groups are there? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight groups with a remainder of six. So she'll have six beads, six beads left over. Number five, a teacher wants to give three markers to each of her 25 students. Markers come in packages of eight. How many packages of markers will the teacher need? So the question is asking how many packages of markers will the teacher need? So we know in one pack there are eight markers. And we know that there are 25 students who will get three. So we can multiply 25 times three to find out how many markers she's gonna need in total. So three times five is 15, carry the one. Three times two is six, plus one is seven. She's gonna need 75 markers in total markers. So we can divide 75 by 8. So 75 divided by 8. We can do 8 times 9 is equal to, so that'll be 72. So we subtract, that'll be 3. So there's a remainder of 3 with nine whole boxes. Well, since we have the remainder and she needs a total of 75 markers for every student, there's not gonna be just one student who doesn't get markers because they only come in packs of eight and the whole number would be nine packs. So we would just buy an extra pack so it would be equal to 10 packs and then there will be extras in that pack but it's just asking how many packages. So the number of packages she'll buy are 10 packages. Number six, write world problems that represent each way you can use a remainder in division problem. Include solutions. A possible answer to this question could be, John has to buy 60 erasers to give to his four friends. Each pack has seven erasers. How many packs does he need to buy? So the problem is saying that he needs 60 erasers so he can share those 60 erasers with his four friends. Each pack has seven erasers. So the problem answer would be eight remainder four with the leftover of four erasers that are not gonna be given. But since everyone needs to get the same amount of erasers, we need to buy nine packs. Lesson check, number one, Marcus sorts his 85 baseball cards into stacks of nine cards each. How many stacks of nine cards can Marcus make? So the question is asking is, how many stacks of cards can Marcus make? How many stacks? He has 85 in total with nine cards in each stack. So we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's one stack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's three, so these three equal to 30, no, 27, 27. So if we have six stacks in total, 
that will be 54. 54. And if we have another 3, that will be 54 plus 27, which would be 7 plus 4 is 11. Carry the 1. 5 plus 2 is 7. Plus 1, it's 8. 81. And we'd have a remainder of 5. So that will be 6 and 3 equals to 9. So 9 stacks of 9 cards with a remainder of 5. So he will have 9 stacks of 9 cards. You wouldn't put that he has 10 stacks because his 10th stack doesn't have the whole 9. Number 2. A minivan can hold up to 7 people. How many minivans are needed to take 45 people to a baseball game. How many minivans are needed to take 45 people to a baseball game? So one minivan holds seven people, and there are 45 people that are going to go to the baseball game. So say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 So there are five minivans so far, and this total would be three ti 7 times 5 is 35, so it would be 35 people. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that would be 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, that's 42, 42 people. And then in the next minivan, there have to be three people in that minivan. Because we can't just leave those three remainder and not have a minivan. So we have to add that minivan. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven minivans. Spiral review. Mrs. W Wick Wilkerson cut some oranges into 20 equal pieces to be shared by six friends. How many pieces does each person get and how many pieces were left over? So it's asking us how many pieces did each person get and how were many were the leftovers? So we want the remainder and the group. So there are 20 pieces to be shared with the six friends. So that's 20 divided by six groups. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18. So it'd be three in each group, so they each get three pieces with the remainder of two fruits left over. Number four, a school bought 32 new desks. Each desk cost $24. Estimate how much the school spent on the new desks. So a possible answer could be 32 times the 24, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, put the 0, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. So 8 plus 0 is 8, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus, 7, 6 plus 1 is 7, so it would be 768. So you can either round this up to $800, around $800, or you can round it down to at, at most $700. So it could either, it could be $750 or $800, depending on how you rounded it. Number five, Chris has a box of eight crayons. Sylvia's box has six times as many crayons as Chris's box. How many crayons are in Sylvia's box? So, Chris has eight crayons, but it says Sylvia has six times as many crayons as Chris's. So we're looking to see how many crayons are in Sylvia's box. So do eight times six, and that equals to 48. So Sylvia has 48, has 48 crayons in her box. 
Number six. Yesterday, 1,743 people visited the fair. Today, there are 576 more people at the fair than yesterday. How many, are, how many people are at the fair today? So it says there are 576 more than yesterday's. So we know that we have to add. So 1743, 1743, plus 576. 3 plus 6 is 9. 7 plus 4 is 11. Carry the 1. 7 plus 5 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So there are 2,319 people at the fair today.